This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss of WDWNT.com. Here now are the top Disney Park stories from around the world for May 6th, 2022. I know I said now the news, but I got to stop and talk about a couple things. Number one, you might be wondering why I'm sitting in a car. Well, that's because Thursday night's WDW News Tonight was a very special episode celebrating the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater. We had a lot of fun, and I think you'd have a lot of fun if you go check it out. But also, I want to plug this nifty new shirt. It is, in fact, our first uh, button-up or button-down, whatever you prefer. I've heard people argue this many times. Uh, shirt, and it represents the Sci-Fi uh, Dine-In. It has the pattern that you'll find on a lot of the cast member costumes. We remade it from scratch. We put the Sci-Fi logo up here. It's super cool, and it's available at Carousel of Products. Dot com. It is priced at $75. It's a little high compared to what we usually do with our $20 shirts, but uh, our margins were very small on it. We really just wanted to bring you something cool to mark uh, the occasion. We always celebrate Hollywood Studios this week every year, so we wanted to do something to mark the occasion. But anyway, let's, let's get going with that news as promised. Disney has released new concept art for the reimagining of Epcot, acknowledging many of the budget cuts that have occurred since the original detailed announcements were made in 2019. In a wide aerial view, we can immediately see the difference compared to the previous concept art. Most notable is the absence of the Festival Center featuring a rooftop area. A downgraded version, including an outdoor stage, has replaced it. Uh, what's funny is that some of the building matches the shape of the one they demolished for the planned Festival Pavilion. The expected changes to Project Tomorrow and the exit of Spaceship Earth are also missing, seemingly confirming that the more major changes to Spaceship Earth will not be happening. However, a refurbishment of the ride still expected in some form at some point. Dreamer's Point, featuring a statue of Walt Disney, is not really visible in the concept art, but it was included in the layout view you're seeing now. Uh, the gardens may still include the beer garden and other areas that were planned for the central zone before, but nothing has been announced as of right now. Here's a look at the new festival area coming to Epcot instead of the larger pavilion. This will be named the Communicore Hall and Communicore Plaza after the former Future World pavilions. Communicore Hall was not given a detailed concept art, but will reportedly be in the uh, structure beside the stage. It'll be home to a Mickey and Friends meet and greet area, a demo kitchen, a mixology bar, gallery space, and more. The concept art of a central plaza was also updated to reflect the transformation into Communicore Plaza. Two long-lasting staples of the area will return in a massive Epcot logo on the ground, as well as some sort of light-up pavement. These are two things people were sad were going away, but in, in a way they're coming back. The festival gardens are depicted to include changing displays, such as the one you're seeing now, which is decorated for the International Festival of the Holidays. Uh, so there you go. This is a big deal. They finally have admitted that this festival pavilion is dead and we have a replacement. And it's honestly not that bad. I have to say, I kind of like it. Um, the building is not particularly beautiful, but I like the gardens. I like the look. I like the light up pavement returning, the Communicorn name. A lot of big wins for the fans, right? These are things that mean something to us. And uh, in the end, we kind of got a Communicorn building back. It's the same shape. Um, I like this. I think it looks good. I'm excited about this stuff. And you know me, I don't get excited for much. New concept art was also released depicting the upcoming journey of water inspired by Moana. In this art, we can see several structures, including a wooden pavilion. And on the left, we can see the entrance rock work featuring the heart of Tefiti, as we've seen in previous art. The walkthrough attraction continues through the water features abound. And the largest area seen on the right has many fountains and interactive water features. No opening date or time frame was given for the journey of water, but at least we've seen a little bit more of it now. On to something we know the opening date of, and that's Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, which we were told would feature many references to the beloved Epcot Center of old. And now we have a better look at just what they meant in a video shared by Scott Gustin on Twitter. In the pre-show video, Peter Quill, better known as Star-Lord, expresses excitement about returning to Epcot, as he visited in the 80s, to ride attractions like Horizons, the Universe of Energy, he wants to see the dinosaurs specifically, and to catch a viewing of the Kitchen Cabaret. I don't know who's going to tell this poor guy what's happened, but I know he's been through enough between his mom and Gamora. And, you know, I don't know if he can handle Horizons on top of all that. 
But previously, we've seen classic Epcot references in a commercial for the attraction, as well as in its merchandise. So in an attempt to bridge Guardians of the Galaxy, which doesn't fit in Epcot at all, to Epcot, they've made a lot of references and a lot of connective tissue between them. Will it work? I don't know. And a, and a fair point, I think, that's been brought up is, who exactly is this for, right? Like, if I'm of the Epcot Center audience, I'm not interested in this attraction to begin with, so is this for me? And I think for, I don't know, for the average guest, this is a pretty long little segment. I think they're just going to be like, what is he talking about? So... I don't know. I appreciate the reference. I'm more excited. That guitar riff, by the way, in case you haven't heard, there is a guitar riff at the beginning of the coaster that is the Universal Energy theme, and I am I'm very excited. That's the only thing I'm excited for this weekend with our preview. Speaking of previews, with them underway, Walt Disney World has released a bevy of new official photos of what guests will experience at Cosmic Rewind. A spoiler warning for this segment, that we will show you some things we have not seen before and give you some new details. From the outside, we can see the attraction building in the light of day, as well as the gorgeous new lighting scheme at night. In the next shot, there's also a much better view of the Wonders of Xandar sign that greets guests as they enter the pavilion. Upon entering, guests will experience the Galaxarium, which will feature 30 minutes of exclusive footage that explains the connections between Xandar and Earth. In the Xandar Gallery, displays show off highlights of Xandarian culture, including the model of the planet's city-like surface. There are also displays of Nova Corps ships, including the Guardian ship, the Benatar. Another feature of the pre-show experience is the Xandarian Phase Chamber, which transports guests to the center of the action. Rocket and Groot appear in a pre-show video. Additionally, guests will also learn about Isan, the Celestial, who serves as the villain. And yes, there is a ride to go along with all of this. The Guardians will battle Isan. Looks like they won't be alone, as the Nova Corps Armada will arrive to help. You also got to look inside the Treasures of Xandar shop, which will be home to merchandise centered around the attraction. And don't dismay baby Groot fans, even though Groot uh, will appear in his adult form in the attraction, you'll be able to buy baby Groot in the shop because money. The shop will be operated by the broker, whose face can be seen on a screen in the shop. You can show off your new status as one of the honorary guardians with this spiffy looking baseball cap uh, and some other merchandise. You're looking at some photos now that we actually uh, were sent from the media preview. Uh, some of the merchandise, including some that in, is an homage to Epcot's past. I don't know about you, but this spaceship shirt with Spaceship Earth as a spaceship, loving it. Loving it. Of course, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind will open to the public on May 27th. We are going to ride the ride on Sunday because it's the first day pass holder preview. So stay tuned for coverage if you want to see more. WDW News Today is brought to you by the Sunshine Flyer, the new 1920s rail-themed transportation from Orlando International Airport to the Walt Disney World Resort Hotels. Start your vacation experience as soon as you step off the plane with motor coaches that create the atmosphere of old-fashioned passenger cars. No two vehicle designs are the same. Round trip is $34 for adults and just $25 for kids. Uh, to and under, ride free. To reserve, visit sunshineflyer.com. After months of anticipation, we got our first Magic Band Plus interactions with the Disney Fab 50 statues at Epcot yesterday. You can watch our full video of our interactions as part of the Fab 50 Quest in the video right here on our channel. On top of that, Disney has now confirmed that like its predecessors, annual pass holders and resort guests will be eligible for pre-arrival discounts on Magic Band Plus, uh, which will of course offer again the Disney Fab 50 Quest. Uh, where you can interact with the golden statues at all of the Walt Disney World theme parks. There will also be the new adventure at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Batu Bounty Hunters. Signs have been added to the hub at the Magic Kingdom advertising the new Cinderella Castle Mural of Memories virtual feature. The signs are in some of the planters throughout the hub. They have a giant uh, blue gem on them, which matches the castle's decor. There's a QR code guests can scan to access the feature in the My Disney Experience app. The sign also says that 5G zones are powered by AT&T. Through Mural of Memories, guests will be able to select any portrait-oriented Disney PhotoPass photo from their gallery in the Experience app and add it to the AR mural on the castle for $9.99. If you love taking off for Neverland on Peter Pan's flight, there's a new statue at Walt Disney World that's perfect for the kid and all of us. The figure is made by Kevin Kidney and Jody Daly. It's a replica of the pirate ship-themed vehicle from the ride, it's $99, and it's in honor of the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. 
It's mounted on a base that boasts a small plaque of the ride's name. The details are perfect for hardcore Parks fans right down to the floor of the ship. That's what Kevin and Jody are known for. The box is inspired by classic Walt Disney World artwork featuring the classic Mickey Mouse globe inside a D. We found this at Bonjour Village Gifts in the Magic Kingdom, not far from the attraction that inspired it. And yes, of course, I had to have one. Disney Parks Chairman Josh Tomorrow has shared a photo on his Instagram from the cast rehearsals for Finding Nemo, The Big Blue and Beyond. It's coming to Animal Kingdom soon. We don't know when exactly. And though we've seen concept art before, this is a first full look at the new technology for the show. The large screen behind the cast will be used as part of the set. The cast and crew are gathered on the stage with Tomorrow in the center. For the absolute latest Disney Parks news, head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on your favorite social media platforms. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next trip. The best part, their services are free. Visit WDWNT.travel for details. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of this show, timekeeping, any of our programs. They're all great. You should check them out if you haven't. And if you want to support the entire team behind this show, you can join the WDWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. And a special thanks to all our WIGS members watching at home. You guys make this show happen each and every week. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying, enjoy the rest of your today, and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Also, Uga Chaka. Gotta get ready for Sunday. Looking for the latest in Disney news on the go? Then download WDWNT the app. From news to videos to park hours and more, WDWNT the app is your one-stop shop for the latest from the Disney world. Available on iPhone and Android, just search for WDWNT in your device's app store.